Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here, the creator of the Divi Dynamic Helper plugin. And today I'm excited to announce an update, version 1.1, with four new features. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick overview of everything that's new. As always, you can follow along on the blog post, check out the details there. So the first thing, Advanced Custom Fields Pro Gallery Field Support for the Divi Gallery module. So this was a big request we made it possible that you could use the free version of advanced custom fields and everyone loved that but some of you were asking for support for the pro version using their gallery field right so it's an actual gallery field rather than multiple image fields okay so we've done that you know if you would go into your website and set up a custom field with the pro let me show you that real quick i have pro enabled i'll go to custom fields and the field that I add here will be the gallery field. So again, this is only with their pro version, which you know some of you have asked, actually a, a good deal of you have asked. Now, where is the thing? All right, here, it's just called gallery. All right, so I'll go ahead and publish this field and then we'll go add some images real quick here. So it adds this field here. So I can click here and I can, you know, I can start adding images just like that. It's nice because you can just select as many as you want, puts them in a nice, Row like this, so it is a really nice the yeah, having that ability um, if you're a pro user. So again, just connect it to the gallery module using our plugin, and you're good to go. Just go here, and then it actually will show up here um, the field. So you just pick that field. That's the gallery itself. There you go. There's the images that I added. I added five images. Okay, awesome. So the next one is similar. It's Pods Gallery Support. Now, Pods is a, is a similar plugin to Advanced Custom Fields. Um, also pretty popular, and I was surprised how many people asked for this. There's the field that they have, it's called File Image Video. There's just a couple little things to know about it. If you go in here and you say, you know, well, whatever, call it something, right? So go ahead and pick the actual field, and again, it's called File Image Video. All right, that's their, like, gallery field and then you get some new options here notice at the top here we'll change that to multiple and now and you can even pick you know a media library and all that uh, I think that's it you just have to make sure you choose multiple okay we'll save that and I'll show you that as well okay so now down here you can go ahead and do the same thing oh they, they only let me choose one at a time Ugh. all right added five images all right so here I'm in the gallery again this time I am looking for that pods gallery right there. So that's as simple as it is. Again, our plugin adds that dynamic content option there. And there you go. There's the images using pods as a gallery. All right, so this feature, Divi library support. So no more short codes, no more installing those plugins where you gotta find the ID in the URL and all that crazy stuff. Now you can add any layout that's in your Divi library whether that's a section row or module, whatever, you can add it to any other module that accepts, you know, the, the HTML has the little uh, dynamic content icon. So this is so cool. In fact, here's a screenshot showing that we've added this new section. You know, you click the little dynamic icon and there in the list is all of your Divi library items. So how cool is that? Um, you can add anything there. And I'm gonna show you some examples because this is so cool. So I guess some modules that would be more relevant um, tabs, you know, you want to add columns and different things and images into the tabs or accordions, you know, even the blurb. I'll show you an interesting one on the blurb. I mean, obviously you could use the text module, but I don't, I don't know exactly why you would, you would do that. But here, I'll just show you. Um, very simple. So there we've added that layout within that module. It's kind of, I don't know. Um, so like I could go into each of these tabs. Of course, it will replace that. But let's just say, you know, pick some of these random layouts that I have. That'll be fine. Oh, there, that's a caveat. In the Visual Builder, there may be a, a few tiny hiccups, but um, you can actually let us know, but we're, we're probably aware of them. But we can't claim to have this perfect because, again, this is a hack. So what I've done is I just added a bunch of layouts to the tabs. I'll add some here to the accordion. So here's a really interesting one, a use case, so a blurb. A lot of times you may want to have a button in a blurb. So you have an image, title, and then text. Now, when we add a layout, it replaces the text. So watch this. 
What I've done is I saved a row that had text module and a button. So now I'm going to add a te text and a button back into here. So right here, watch this. See, oh, and, and a little note, like this, this spacing around here. When you save to the library, remember that your sections and rows have spacing in them. So you're going to need to remove that spacing to make it perfect, okay? That's kind of just comes along with it. All right, so let's look at the front end. There's that. Here's my tabs. Um, see, isn't this awesome that I can just add this content? Oh, this is an a, accordion. So I've just, you know, added some, some of these layouts within the accordion. How cool is that? I mean, come on, this is awesome, right? Now this here, let me show you what I meant about the spacing. In fact, if I inspect here, you will see, look at that. So you can see right there, you can see the, the green padding of the row and then the row is 80% width by default and that's where you see like that orange. So watch this, if I go to the library, if I go to this row and I'll say, go in here to sizing, see width 80%, that, that was a problem, wasn't it? It was affecting that. And the other thing would be spacing and it doesn't show the defaults, but we'll just say top and bottom zero. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, you may need to relink it, um, but just keep in mind that you may need to have your layout kind of finalized before you add it somewhere, right? But look at look at, that looks totally like like natural, like it's perfect, right? Um, again, you could you could add tabs within tabs or accordions within the accordions, and <laughs> you know. Anyway, <laughs> so the last thing was a simple one um, in the contact form, someone wanted to be able to have conditional um, contact fields based on the custom field, right? So they wanted to be able to have two custom fields that say email address one, email address two, like if the contact form's in a theme builder template, right? And then the email address would um, have this right here. It didn't have that icon before, so now you could pick which email address from the custom field. Um, then we actually added this um, also in our Divi contact form helper plugin. So I think that's everything. So advanced custom fields, pro gallery, pods gallery, the contact form email address, and then the Divi library thing. So I'm really excited about this update and I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you um, find this plugin interesting and valuable. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.